So having taken a Q-led approach to the opening statement and having explored the patient's thoughts, worries, hopes, and the psychosocial impact, often the patient will have disclosed a situation that has been difficult for them, upsetting, painful, distressing. This is an opportunity to show sympathy or preferably empathy. Sympathy is the expression of sorrow for a patient's situation. For example, I'm really sorry to hear about your dad and his death. Sympathy does have some value in a consultation. It is showing that you're listening. It's showing you that you're a sympathetic person and therefore it can contribute to building or maintaining rapport. The way in which you do it is important. It's very important for the patient to actually finish what they're saying when they're describing the distressing situation. You've got to wait for that natural pause where you can come out with your sympathetic statement. And most importantly, having done so, you must stop and allow the patient to acknowledge your sympathy. One of the things that I often hear when they're listening to recordings uh, where trainees have uh, realized that they need to show sympathy, but under the pressure of time, it becomes gabbled and uncaring. So you'll hear something like, oh, doctor, and, and then dad died. It was such a terrible time. The patient starts crying and the GP then over talks the crying patient. Oh, uh, I can, uh, I'm very sorry to hear about your dad. So uh, uh, now let's just talk about your low back pain and, uh, and uh, how that's been affecting you. Of course, this sounds uncaring. It's very much formulaic. Um, it's not actually contributing anything to the consultation and may actually damage rapport. Empathy is actually more powerful than sympathy and it's used in the similar situations. But empathy is about you expressing your insight into the patient's situation and the impact it's having. So an example might be, gosh, you know, with your dad dying, I can really appreciate that's had a massive impact, not only for you, but for your family. Again, followed by the pause, allowing the patient to acknowledge that empathetic statement. And what empathy is doing is showing that you really are listening to the patient, that you understand uh, their situation and very powerfully contributes to the development and the maintenance of rapport. And it's through that understanding or their perception of your understanding that is very much going to contribute to achieving a shared decision making. So, We've mentioned rapport. So, you know, what, what does this really mean? It's about achieving an, a comfortable relationship with a patient within a consultation, so that the patient may feel able to disclose something that is painful, embarrassing, something that's difficult to talk about, that they wouldn't normally have mentioned. So how do you achieve it? Well, You've got to think of it in terms of you know, verbal and nonverbal approaches. In terms of the nonverbal approaches, it really begins as the patient walks through the door. The eye contact, the smile, you know, the welcome, the open body posture, showing that you're actively listening uh, to a patient your facial expression conveying that you're interested in them and what's unfolding. Verbally, 
in terms of establishing rapport. It focuses about being interested in them and their situation. And that often relates, of course, to that exploration of their thoughts, worries, hopes and psychosocial impact. It's about really listening to what they're saying. So cue handling becomes very important. It's about conveying your understanding of their situation. And this is why empathy is so important. And of course, you've got to be taking a positive approach such that the patient feels that you're on their side. Another thing to consider is that in terms of maintaining rapport, it's important not to surprise a patient. So always remember to signpost, explain why you're asking, explain why you're examining. And through a patient feeling that you're interested in them, listening to them, understanding them, and are out there to help them or on their side, you're very much going to have that comfortable relationship that is rapport.